All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my touch designer tutorial number seven. And this is what we're gonna create today. And I was actually asked to uh, recreate a very similar, um, yeah, project basically that somebody saw on my Instagram page. And I'm just explaining how it did the just kind of developed it further a bit or like changed a few things, but it's the same concept. And before I start, I just want to say uh, thank you to, like, to, to everyone who's given me such positive responses, like feedback. I uh, really, um, really didn't expect that, and just so you know, like it actually <laughs> means a lot to me. And um, alright, so uh, I'm going to rebuild that with you, like this, this network here. And um, it's going to be a lot of uh, like top work and a bit of sops in the beginning and yeah I'm just gonna delete everything and rebuild it with you together um, before I just say before I start like as always my uh, width and height are like 1920 by 1080 and on the look I changed the background top to BG so all right I'm just gonna delete everything except for the no, just everything. <laughs> and um, drop a sphere sub in here for, for a start. And on the detail tab, I'm going to change the rows to 40. And then connect this to a sword and a particle. So if I don't sort this and just change this to a thousand here. You can see they're like being generated uh, in an order, basically. So uh, on this project, I don't want that. So I'm going to change the sort to random. And now they're being randomly generated. And I'm going to change a couple of other things on here. So the first thing is the expectancy, like life expect. I'm going to change that to 7. And the var variance to 1. And then on the forces, I'm uh, gonna change the turbulence to like three on all on all uh, three axes, and um, the period to five. And I'm gonna bit like I'm gonna insert a bit of wind here, so it doesn't make this sort of shape. So like zero point zero one there, or and like minus point zero two here. So now you can see it's moving in a more interesting way, I'd say. Okay, so the next thing is um, attaching this to a geometry and then I'll, I drop a ca camera in here. The only thing that I change on these two is like the, or like on the camera, is on the Z axis, uh, change to 12. And the last thing we need here is a material. And I'm going to use a constant material, just drop it down there, say power material, and uh, on the common page, turn on blending and turn off the dev test. And yeah, we might change the alpha later. Okay, so you now uh, add a render top in here and then connect that to now. I'm going to change the resolution of the render to the same as my project container. And then scoop this like all the way over here and change its name to BG and turn the display on. All right, so now I'm going to also drop a level here at the end and uh, look up as I always do with a ramp attached to it so we get a black background. And um, okay, so the first thing here I'm going to do is drop a blur, just a very subtle one. I uh, think personally it makes for a nicer effect. Um, and then we're going to create a feedback loop here. So I add a composite, change the operation to add. Actually, need this to be way more over there. And then um, with the middle mouse, insert a feedback here. Drag the comb onto it. And um, also drop a level in here and connect that here. Okay, so then you might want that effect that really also looks pretty cool, but I'm gonna um, change the opacity to like 0 0.7 and then just like in the particle image reveal 
tutorial that I uploaded, I'm going to use an edge uh, in the feedback here. So I'm going to dropping that in here and turn on comp over input and change the strength to like 0 0.15. Let me reset the like pulse to feedback and also change the sample step to like 2.5. So you get this kind of aesthetic here. Cool. So looking good so far. Um, the next thing we're going to create here is uh, a ramp that is responsible for the colors, basically. So I'm going to um, make this a circular, circular uh, ramp. And I want this to phase in time. So I'm going to put in the Python expression apps time that seconds and times like 0.1 to make this uh, change like phase in time and then I'm gonna change the colors in here so uh, I want a kind of uh, violetish red color so I drop that in here something like that and um, also want a blue um, um, darker blue and a kind of greenish color you can yeah you can adapt those later and um, maybe drop a level you might need that and we want to change the resolution to be the same size as our render so 1920 by 1080 in my case and now I'm gonna drop two things in here and the first one is a another lookup and also a composite. All right, so now we're going to connect these to both of them. So just dropping the level like into the lookup here. So that's already looking pretty sweet. And I'm also going to like put that into the composite now. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And um, before I get to the displays part, I'm going to insert another composite here to make this uh, like fit into the circle that I showed you in, in the beginning. So I'm also dropping a circle in here and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 as well. And the radius, I'm going to turn that down to like 0 0.26 uh, for both. Yeah. <laughs> and um, connect this to a blur and then to the composite. So now you can see it's all like fit into the circle and I'm gonna change the blur to like 50 and you don't have to do this, I just kinda like the effect. The effect. Uh, and yeah, so uh, this is basically the setup. Like you can already roll with this, looks pretty cool as well. But uh, you can also drop a displays in here. Like the displays top and um, like it's also the a, a trick that I or a trick uh, a method whatever like I showed you uh, on another tutorial that you just displace it by itself. So this also looks really cool. Or you can um, like drop a blur, like another blur in here, and then change the filter size to like twenty four because that's my favorite number, <laughs> and the uh, pre shrink to like f four. And then on a displays, change the source midpoint to like 0 0.05, and the displays weight to like 0 0.24 as well. And then you get that kind of effect that I had in the beginning. But uh, yeah, you're really like free to play around uh, with the displays and uh, with a lot of other stuff. Like I can show you a few things you can mess around with. But this is like the the basic, the basic way to do this sort of aesthetic so you can mess around with the edge now you gotta be kind of careful like 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 quickly doesn't look good anymore but you can definitely play around with that and uh, here in the constant for example you could make the like you could turn down the alpha and um, then you get a different effect as well and on the blur here you can like make the 20 and then you also get a different aesthetic. Um, I like the other one more though. And on the particles, you're also like very free to uh, play around 
quite a bit so you could also make this like one the period and it's going to be more messy in a way or just make this like 10 and then it's going to be they're going to behave more like in a as a flock <coughs> as a like group uh yeah so if you have any questions feel free to ask if there's anything else in my instagram account you want to want me to explain um i might do that and yeah then again like thanks a lot for uh, watching and like all the positive feedback and uh, see you on the next tutorial.